Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about vidIQ. Now vidIQ is a tool that I've been using for the last year that helps me prime my videos on both my English and my Arabic channel to perform the best that they can. Uh, and I'm talking about basically from you know a thumbnail, uh, configuring the actual words in the description, the title, even the tags, but not only that, also understanding what's the search volume for that specific product that I'm covering. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I was able to set up both the Arabic and the English channel videos using vidIQ for the OnePlus Bullet Zs. This is TK, and I want to say thank you very much to vidIQ for sponsoring this video, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and check out why vidIQ is a must-have for any YouTube creator. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. The first thing to start off, I want to mention to you guys that vidIQ is actually a service that's not included as part of YouTube. You do need to subscribe to it separately. There'll be a link in the description below to a landing page to give you a little bit more information as well as the ability of trying it out if you guys are interested in seeing the benefits of this service on your channel for yourself. Uh, but the main thing is this is a desktop uh, style application which means you need to use it on a desktop pc on a browser so it works with youtube by basically being added as a plugin once you have your account set up and your configuration is done we'll be able to basically start configuring and doing things on the actual channel so here we are at the youtube studio for my second channel this is Tarek bay and i have this new video that i posted on the channel but i need to actually make live so there's a few things we need to do to the video before we are actually able to just get everything done First and foremost, you'll notice there's that additional ticker that's present right there at the top. It gives me access to my last uh, 90 days or 28 days of performance, how the views, the subscriber gain, of course, as far as minutes to watch, and of course, total subscriber. And it actually is more accurate than just seeing it on the main thing on YouTube. And of course, my average watch time in minutes. Uh, there is also an additional drop down option here for competitors, uh, trend alert, basically most viewed videos on my channel, channel audit to be able to see how my channel is performing. So if I click this one, it's going to go through all of the videos that I have currently on my channel and compare me for the last 30 days. You can see also uh, different categories, uh, views by uh, per hour, so VPH, the views, subscriber uh, gained, and of course, uh, basically total watch time, and of course, just some more analytics uh, as well as some of the tags that have been working great for me. Uh, last but not least, we obviously, obviously can see here content that could use some work to be able to boost some of the views. So they also put them in a category here. Uh, and of course, just overall, so some analytics. And it says basically eight of my videos do not have cards, uh, but you notice that a lot of my videos have end screen. So those things are obviously there. And if I want to be able to edit them, I can click this and it'll take me straight into the videos that I don't have cards. So what I would probably end up doing here is just go straight edit. That's going to take me straight into the actual editing tab for those cards. And I'm going to go ahead and say add. I'm going to say add video and as i mentioned this is the charging test it makes perfect sense for me to link it to the again the oneplus 8 pro that's the unboxing i'll create a card give it a second to finish again very good very easy tools to let's go into the actual video and what i do here i'm going to go ahead and say edit it'll take me straight into the main video you notice nothing is coded there's no information in here there is a sec section here at the bottom that says basically the vidIQ uh, toolbar there's also the additional section here on the right side Coincidentally, that little uh, drop menu that I showed you guys at the top is also present here on the, on the left. You can see it right here. Those are the, all the options that we have available. Uh, now, boosting for each video is not available on every tier, but if you do have it, you need to turn it on manually, and it is based on the 30-day period. So if I hit boost, this is going to give me some more recommendations for those, uh, for those uh, tags that I want to be able to put in. But it's not going to start by itself. It does need its own information. So at this point, what I'm going to do is just copy the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. That's that's the main product that I'm showing in my video. I'll go into Keyword uh, Inspector, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. Easy thing to do, obviously, is just make sure you follow what you're doing in the video so that everything that relates to it shows up correctly. And of course, first and foremost, you'll notice right there that my video that I posted on the English channel automatically came up here and that one's doing quite well on that channel. So overall, what I want to do, you notice this, uh, the VPH on that one is 136.5. So we're, obviously we do need that same thing. It's in the title, it should be in the description and we'll be able to start adding things. And what I really like about this is I'm able to actually expand this. You'll notice those are all the tags on my English video. So I can just go in there and start adding them one by one. And then what it's going to do, it's, it's going to actually paste them straight into my tags uh, box. That one, I don't have to actually go in there and type every single one of them. And you can actually see how they're performing. So how, how often are they used? The search volume for the specific title. So basically OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z has a lot of searches on it. Very low competition, which is good. And of course, overall score is 66 out of 100, which is actually a high number for uh, requests. So I know this video should be able to do well for me. So at this point, all my tags are in here. I'll go ahead and hit close. 
And as you can see here, I've actually gone over the 500 allowed uh, tags. Also, I do need to also put in some Arabic tags in there since this is an Arabic video. So what I'll go ahead and do is go jump into translate and it does have an automatically loading of all of my tags and I'm gonna choose basically Arabic and I'll give it a second to translate. So you'll notice here by default, I don't have OnePlus, I should add that in there. And of course, I do wanna add, add in the OnePlus 8 Pro Previous using from previously using this tag, I know that this performs quite well for me. Um, so that takes me into here, but you'll notice right now, right out of the box, it's telling me that I need to have at least where somewhere in my description, the wireless bullet Z. It's relating to what I have at the bottom. Um, on top of the fact that I also wanna create a custom thumbnail. So let's go ahead and open it up here. This is uh, directly here. I'm able to take a picture straight from here. I'll view a picture still from the video or load a, a blank color and basically start fresh. The other thing you can also do is load up an image. It loaded up my picture, everything is ready to go. I'll go ahead and hit next. We have the ability of doing a few things in here. There's the text, the shape, image, and template. So obviously I'm gonna add some text in here. Uh, what I did from the video yesterday is I'm able to also do is loading up templates. So I can either buy a text or open template section. I don't have a template set for this one. So what I'm going to do at least at the very least here, we're gonna put in the letters Z. Now Z obviously is because these are the bullets Z and I, yesterday when I did, I used the red color. So that color is still saved for me here and I can select the color, add the text and of course just expand it to fill the top. It shows me how it's gonna look like on the actual YouTube. So YouTube search, that's what it's gonna be here. So it's gonna say the name here. Of course here in uh, when you're looking at Facebook, if you share it, it's gonna be more focused in here. But again, I my main carry at this point is that it is a YouTube. Obviously, if you're looking to be able to share it on multiple platforms, make sure that you see how it looks like in preview. So I'll go ahead and hit save. I'll give it a second to finish. And as you can see here, it says your thumbnail has been saved. It may take a minute or so for it to change. So we'll go ahead and hit close. And then once we refresh the page, you'll notice right there, the thumbnail is already up there. It's ready to go. And so you can see here, obviously we are getting a 45 out of 50 video, vid IQ score. That's mostly on the things I've already added. So obviously uh, tags, uh, keywords, keywords and title, and obviously we're not done. There's also a checklist of the things that you should do, obviously, to make your video perform the best as possible. Um, sharing on social media, Facebook, uh, obviously re uh, reply to recent comments. You should always re reply to your comments. Um, add at least one end screen. We've already added that. Closed captioning is already turned on. Monetization, I need to turn that on. Uh, add at least one card on there. Obviously, we need to do that as well. And of course, making it public. All of these things are great. The other tool that I really, really like, because this is a tool that I've been using for a long time, for over a year, You'll notice that it actually has learned over time where is my best performance overall for posting a video or making it live on this channel. And what I mean by this essentially is by, based on past performance, it knows that overall my best performance to posting a video is roughly between 12 and 2 p.m. Again, this is an Arabic video going to an Arabic market. It would work the exact same way for my English channel whenever I post videos to the U.S. market or obviously English speaking markets. So fast forward now, I have my title correctly inputted here. I kept the English title as well as the Arabic title on top of that, added my Arabic description, my links, everything is set correctly. I have saved everything. Uh, the best obviously setup here at this point is setting up, making sure we have at least multiple uh, playlists. So here, basically a hardware, software, and hands-on. I'll go ahead and hit say done. So it's three playlists, end screens already covered, cards already covered. Uh, I have everything, all my tags sitting at the bottom of my video, of course, as well as the fact that at the end, if you'd like to be able to try doing something like, let's say, reorganizing your tags, you can definitely do it within this tool, as in normally YouTube does not allow us to reorganize things. An example would be here. If I wanna be able to move this, where I wanna be able to move this tag up a little bit, move it up to the top, um, they always recommend that basically putting the title of your video in the top of bullet as far as the actual lat tag. So always start with that and make sure everything else follows through. Uh, and that's really one of the best things that we can do in here. Uh, last thing, as I mentioned to you guys overall, this is basically how we edit the video. This is what I like to do on the video editing. And at this point, I can go ahead and hit save. And at this point, I'm ready to post the video. It is live, it's been coded, it's already been optimized to work for HD and standard. So what we'll go ahead and do here, it'll go ahead and change the video public. And at this point, we're ready to go. Uh, everything else looks good. And um, there's also additional tags in here that I can add, but I, at this point, I'm actually kind of at 100. There's 99 out of 100. There's no more space for me to add anything. Uh, they do recommend you having shorter titles, but for me, because I'm doing Arabic and English, I do tend to go a little bit longer because I wanna make sure to catch on both sides whenever somebody's looking for something in Arabic or in English. And I'll go ahead, I'll just hit save. It's 9.30 right now, 9.31. I like to post my videos in slightly off, to, uh, uh, off number, so meaning not exactly at the beginning of the hour. Uh, and of course, the video should be live now and we'll be able to see how some of the analytics are going there. Now, one of the other really cool things that I love getting it is obviously access to the dashboard directly within vidIQ. Uh, this is basically the dashboard that we have here. This is the, again, accessing my channel. I have access to both the Arabic and the English channel through here. 
Uh, but you can you know kind of see here the performance within the last 30 days this is last month's performance i can see the views how they've been doing obviously how they've going up or down um, and of course i can also go in and click videos which will give me a list of all of my videos and how they're performing and i also have the ability of kind of going in there and customizing uh, different things in case they're not performing well so you'll notice right away that video that we just made live has 21 views uh, no likes and no comments yet we'll get a chance and we'll wait for that uh, the last thing I want to share with you guys here before we leave this tab, obviously there's a lot more information going on, uh, subscribers of course and everything, is the SEO tab, which is really, really nice. They do a manual audit of all the SEOs that you have on your videos and they make it so that they give you emails with information about recommended SEOs to add or tags to add into your description box or even directly into your tag. Um, in this tool. So you'll notice right now, this one is trending pretty well. It's running at 64. And this is something that I can definitely benefit of using in this video. So the overall process, as you saw, doesn't really take as long. Today, obviously, I was explaining things to you. That's why it took a little bit longer. But for the most part, once I get my description, my tags, my uh, and of course, the title set up, I also make sure that I, if I'm putting it on the Arabic channel to make sure that I have Arabic tags, as you guys saw there. And the beauty of this is as it learns more of your habits and the videos that you're producing, it actually gives you that nice little window to know exactly when's the best time to post videos for your channel, for your content, for your subscribers. So it basically understands how your performance is over time. Um, there is obviously a much more detailed dashboard that you're able to see on their website. But as far as analytics, uh, I like the fact that if, let's say even I, I go to my videos and I watch my videos, I can actually see on the right side of my video some more analytical information as far as how that video is performing, did I do everything that I was supposed to do, and is there anything else that I can do to help it perform better. Um, you can also get the same rough information on any other site. Let's say you go to somebody else's videos. This also kind of brings up some of the information there, minus the personal information, like you know, sharing to Facebook or sharing to Twitter. That's more specific to you, but you are able to get some analytical data also on other videos to understand how they're able to perform better and obviously try to learn from that. Um, overall, vidIQ for me has been a great tool to use. Now, again, I've been using it for about a year and the sponsorship that I have with them right now just came about as part of Famebit. So just kind of be aware, I've already been using it. This is not something that I started to use it. I've been using it for a year. And um, as my Arabic channel is kind of like a proof of a concept, uh, it started a year ago and this video is actually kind of showing you guys that in a year, I was able to go up to 27,000 subscribers on the Arabic channel using some of the tools here with vidIQ. So, First and foremost, thank you very much for watching the video all the way to this end. Thank you very much to vidIQ for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link in the description below again if you'd like to check it out. Um, try, try the service yourself as well. So this is something that you want to be able to check out and also enjoy. Uh, but overall, the experience of using vidIQ for me has been very beneficial because th there are certain information that we just don't normally get within YouTube. So with that said, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.